Hey, this is Mark with another simple tutorial here for you. Uh, this is on the photo booth template tutorials. So today I'm going to be talking about the uh, overlay layer. I'm going to show you how to create your overlay layer. Um, so the overlay layer is actually the layer that sits on top of the entire image. So remember, you recall in my last tutorial, you have your uh, background layer, your photo layer, and your overlay layer. Well, if you want your images to be to sit on top of the pictures, then you have to create that as an overlay layer. Now, the overlay layer is a transparent layer. So what does a transparent layer mean? Well, I'll show you that in a little bit. But first, let me show you how to um, modify the template that you've downloaded, um, the happy birthday orange and blue template, and uh, show you how to manipulate this to how you um, to make it work for you. So the overlay layer sits right here. Uh, the folder called overlay actually has the abbreviation as, as hide as well. Um, but that's only if you're creating the background layer, you would hide it. In this case, we're not going to hide it. So remember I said earlier about the transparency? Well, the transparency just means that uh, if you were to hide all the other layers, that would be your transparent layer. You notice there's no background in this image, um, all you see are the components of the overlay layer. So this layer would sit on top of the entire layer. So if you were to look at the hierarchy, it would be the front layer as opposed to the back layer. So we're going to modify this or create it. Now, if you like, um, the only real modification here is either to add, uh, to add an image or to add uh, text to your overlay layer. Um, so typically, the way I like to do it, um, let me bring all the layers into view here. Um, the one portion that really needs to be decided, and this is uh, up to you, as to where you want this this portion to sit, um, is really the uh, enter your text. This right there. You. This is where you have to make a decision if you want to make this part of the overlay layer or part of the background layer. Now. Let me help you understand what that means when if just in case you happen to use other templates that have this design um, in mind. Uh, in my design, I happen to have the um, enter your text area right in the center, which can be 50 50. You, you, you can put this on your overlay layer or you can put it as part of your background layer. So let me show you what that looks like just by hiding uh, each component here. So. Uh, to make it look like your overlay layer, really just all you're doing at this point is just hiding your background layer. And of course, that's just uh, the photo layer. So this is what your overlay layer would look like. You have all your, your frames, your little, your little uh, vector designs, and your text. So that would be part of your overlay layer. Now, if you wanted to make the text part as part of your background layer, then you would just hide. You would just uh, when you when you go to save, you would just hide all of your um, your overlay layer components, and this would be your background layer. So you would save this, and it, as you can see, it works in both ways. You know, your printer would print this first, then it would print the pictures, and then it would print the overlay layer uh, right on top of that, and that and that's how it would it would bring it. Now it it, it does this on several passes, of course. So. Um, so how do we edit this right here? Well, it's simple. All you got to do is click the down arrow for that. Now in this design, um, and I'm sorry, let me go back here. Here's your text layer. There's text one, text two. Now the reason why there's two there is because I actually have, uh, you see, I'm using the, the same text, just a different color font as a background layer to give it the, that eighties look appeal. That's uh, pretty popular nowadays. Um, that um, uh, 80s look, yeah, the retro look. Um, so you can do it. Th you, uh, that's why I have two there. Now, um, the good thing is that these are chained. So what chaining means, it means that uh, if you move this, and I'm moving it to the left right now, and I'm going to move it to the right. If you move it left and you know up, down, left and right, both layers will move together. But it doesn't necessarily it doesn't necessarily mean that when you change the the word on it that it will change both layers so let me give you an example here if I were to type in scarlet 
I'm typing with one hand here. Sorry about that. Scarlett, you notice that the back la the back layer, let me let me go ahead and check that. The background layer has not changed. Uh, I'm gonna have to click on the background layer and do the same thing. Oh boy, big mistake. That's what you get for typing one hand. Okay, I'll correct it on this one. And then I'll go back and fix the, the front one. That's what you get for typing with one hand. I'm hoping I'm holding the mic and typing at the same time with my other hand. So I apologize for that. But um, so that's what you would need to do is you'd have to double type it. I mean, that's not so hard, but um, the results are amazing. You get a really nice um, font and nice little background behind it as well. It looks great. So that's what that's the way you would do that. Now, if you needed to resize that, that's really easy. Um, now, it's, it's the same thing. If you resize one, you have to resize the other. So when you resize it, and I'm using my tools here, you may have a different version. I'm using a Adobe Photoshop CS6. Uh, this also works on um, Adobe uh, Photoshop Elements. Um, if you click your arrow, uh, I, I may have, you know, you may have your text in a different location and I do your text um, uh, parameters here. Um, and I'm using the franchise text for this. Uh, you may have a different size here, so I, you could scale it and um, only the only the layer that you've selected will be scaled, not both layers. So let me go ahead and control Z that. So we get back to normal. Okay, I don't, it looks like it, that's not working. So let me go ahead and uh, click there and see what size that, that's a, that's a 130. Okay, so I'm gonna change this one to 130 as well. Doesn't look like it's wanting to change. So this is what you would have to do too to make sure they're both the same size. Luckily for you, they'll always be in the same location, just not necessarily the same text, the same wording or, or, or font size. So now the other the other thing you could change here, uh, moving on, is the thank you uh, wording here at the bottom. Uh, you could change that to whatever you want it to be, just by double clicking it, and you could change the texting there, and you could also same thing, readjust it, move it around however you like. Now, if you're if you're happen to write a long sentence there and it happens to come over on the gift side then at that point your decision to make it a background layer probably will not work you probably at that point want to make it part of the overlay layer so it sits on top of the gifts or it's on the same layer as the gifts um, so that's what you want to do there the uh, date now you could choose to use that or not but you could change that and change the color of the font all this is pretty much all customizable to whatever you want to uh, want it to be color wise or text wise. The parts that are not customizable are the background and the overlay. Um, those are pretty much images that have already been pre-compiled. Um, so you can't really touch those. Um, but the text is definitely 100% edible. Uh, ed edit, editable. It sounds like I'm saying edible, like you could eat it or something, but that's not what I mean. Okay, the other portion is here where it says uh, where you can put your phone number. This is your your business marketing. So that way people not only take away a picture and everything else about the, the event that you're holding, but they also you're also able to market yourself or market an event that you that you maybe have gotten paid for and they want their information on the cards, on the photos, and this is how you do it. So this because I, I've made it, I've made a, a design design decision to put it on as part of the background layer, these parts right here will be part of the background layer. Now, I've made it pretty simple. First thing you gotta do before you edit that is you gotta uncheck the lock box, the, the lock it. That unlocks the layer. So now you're able to edit it. But the first thing I did is once you do the down arrow, you're gonna see that the first item on there or folder is the enter your company info. So if I select that, you'll see that I've kind of gotten this little um, square, uh, selector around the areas that that's going to that's going to affect um, by clicking the down arrow you can see that now I could actually edit each individual section and put whatever I want move it around change it to a different color so pretty much all the texts are, are are really at your 
disposal for creativity. Um, that, that includes font size, font color, type of font you want to use. Uh, that's really all up to you. Um, I've given you a pretty good starting point, and if you like it, you like the way I've designed it, then you just leave it like that and just type away. You know, keep life simple. Uh, other than that, if not, then you know you're more than welcome to change it, make it your own. So now that we've decided to, now that we've made our changes to this, um, to the text area of the template. Now we want to go ahead and um, save the, um, the overlay layer. So what I'm gonna do first to do that is I need to first, now this is in Photoshop and the same for Element. I need to go to my background um, eye icon and go ahead and make that uh, invisible. I also wanna do the photo uh, spots because the photo spot really is just a placeholder to kind of give you an idea of where the pictures are gonna be so that it's not really a necessary layer, but visually it's great because then you can kind of see where you're at um, and close that out. And so now I have my overlay layer. And in this instance, I've decided to keep the uh, text layer where I entered the my client's information I decided to make that as part of the overlay layer. Okay, so to save this, all you have to do is go to your uh, Photoshop file and save as. And first thing you wanna do is make sure you change your name to overlay or you know, save the file as an overlay. If you're using the uh, Breeze system software, this is the file name that it's looking for when it sent when it sends it to the printer to be able to put that as the top layer of the of the finishing touches of your photo. Uh, next thing is you want to do is make sure that it's a transparency and the transparency file extension for that is the PNG file, which allows for transparency. So right there, you'll see it's, uh, it's, it's changed it as soon as I went to my format and selected that uh, as the PNG file. Uh, it changed it right here as the extension. So now it's overlay.png file. And of course, then at that point, all you have to do, and I'm saving in a new location here, is click save. Then it'll walk you through the process, um, the PNG options, the defaults are usually okay. So click okay. And there you have it your layer file has been saved. Now let's go ahead and check that. Uh, the way I do that is I go here and uh, let's see. Uh, going to the wrong place, let's see, photo booth files. Oh, you know what, actually, I think I saved it on my desktop here. Um, and I saved it in here. Yeah, there it is. And let's see that generate and there you go. Apple gives us this nice little cool window here. So you can see it's a transparency because it's actually white background. Um, and uh, there's there's Scarlet. And there's all the little uh, vector shapes that are part of the uh, overlay layer. So this will sit right on top of your, your photo. So that's it for the overlay layer. Uh, my next tutorial will be on to, uh, creating the background layer. So uh, once again, thank you for stopping by and downloading the Happy Birthday Orange and Blue uh, photo booth template. And I hope that you like the way we create our templates and uh, uh, we look forward to creating more templates so you can use and, and uh, really boost your business, put you, uh, put you on a different level and um, make you look very professional. Uh, this is Mark with uh, Mark Shatter Photo um, and thanks for coming by and uh, visiting our website. Thanks.